Elon Musk has made a massive $97.4 billion offer to take over OpenAI, the organization behind ChatGPT. Instead of accepting, Sam Altman, another key figure at OpenAI, responded humorously by making a lowball offer to buy Twitter, which Musk owns. Musk reacted strongly by labeling Altman dishonest on the social media platform X. The disagreement between Musk and Altman isn't just a typical business dispute. It has escalated into a major conflict with both using social media to attack each other. This public fight is unfolding amidst a very important $500 billion AI project that could significantly influence the future of technology. Elon Musk and Sam Altman started OpenAI together in 2015 with a goal to develop artificial intelligence AI, to help the world, making sure their work stayed open to the public and wasn't just about making money. Around 2018 or 2019, Musk left the organization, and Altman became the leading figure. OpenAI became famous worldwide after releasing ChatGPT in late 2022. Recently, things have become more intense financially. Elon Musk, leading a group of investors, has offered an enormous amount of about $97.4 billion to $100 billion to buy OpenAI. This offer is specifically for the non-profit part of OpenAI that controls its business side. Musk's legal team has stated they are serious about this offer and are ready to increase it if there are higher bids. This large sum of money shows the fierce competition to control one of the most powerful AI organizations in the world. OpenAI, initially valued at $157 billion last year, could jump to around $300 billion in worth if a potential $40 billion deal with SoftBank is finalized. This would significantly raise its market value in just a short period. Sam Altman, the current leader of OpenAI, is not interested in accepting Elon Musk's massive takeover bid. Altman made a lighthearted comment on X, formerly Twitter, suggesting he could buy Twitter for just $9.74 billion much less than the $44 billion Musk paid for it in 2022. Musk responded sharply by calling Altman a swindler and even shared a video accusing him of being a scam. This public spat between them is generating a lot of attention online. OpenAI began as a nonprofit aimed at developing AI for the benefit of humanity, emphasizing openness and safety. To support ambitious AI projects like the GPT models, OpenAI established a for-profit arm while keeping the non-profit side in charge. This setup allows it to take on big investments, like those from Microsoft. Yet the non-profit side still holds significant power, such as the ability to dismiss the CEO, which was nearly exercised against Altman in late 2023. Elon Musk has criticized OpenAI for shifting from its original goal of benefiting humanity to focusing more on making money. He even sued OpenAI last August, claiming they were putting profits first. Musk also started his own AI company, XAI, in 2023 to compete with OpenAI. If Musk buys OpenAI, he could either remove a big competitor or combine it with his company to create a huge AI business. This fight includes business tactics, legal issues, and a big tech rivalry. OpenAI's situation is complicated because it's a nonprofit. The nonprofit board that runs OpenAI must ensure they sell or transfer OpenAI's assets at a fair market value. Musk's nearly $100 billion offer sets a high bar. If OpenAI thinks about leaving its nonprofit status, the board must justify any sale for less than $97.4 billion. Legal experts and regulators in places like Delaware and California, where OpenAI is based, are watching this closely. OpenAI is also working on the Stargate project, planning to put $500 billion into US AI infrastructure. Big names like SoftBank, Oracle, and an Emirati Sovereign Wealth Fund support this project, and even former President Donald Trump praised it as the biggest AI plan ever. However, Elon Musk doubts whether the funds for Stargate really exist and questions if the project is good for the country. At the same time, there are rumors about Musk wanting to buy TikTok amid talks of a possible U.S. ban or forced sale of its parent company, ByteDance. Musk has denied these rumors, stating he doesn't use TikTok and generally doesn't buy companies unless the situation is exceptional, like with Twitter. 
Additionally, there are ongoing legal issues. Musk had sued OpenAI but withdrew the lawsuit after emails showed he initially supported OpenAI's profit-making model until he realized he wouldn't have full control. Also, the New York Times is suing OpenAI and Microsoft for allegedly using its articles to train AI models without the right permissions. And this legal matter is still unresolved. Elon Musk's legal team argues that if OpenAI wants to fully become a for-profit company, it must fairly compensate its non-profit organization. They believe this is necessary to prevent public assets from being turned into private ones without proper payment. This legal issue makes things even more complicated, especially since OpenAI is close to securing $40 billion in funding from SoftBank. If this deal goes through, OpenAI's value could jump to around $300 billion, making it one of the world's most valuable private companies, alongside SpaceX and ByteDance. Musk's huge $97.4 billion offer might be a strategy to disrupt this valuation. By making such a big move, he could slow down OpenAI's plans or raise the cost so much that it becomes difficult for OpenAI to buy out its nonprofit board. Some believe Musk is trying to delay the deal, forcing Sam Altman and his team to spend more money and time figuring out how to change OpenAI's structure. Sam Altman, however, reassures that OpenAI's corporate structure prevents any one person from taking full control. He suggests that Musk's actions might be an attempt to challenge OpenAI's success. Altman remains firm that OpenAI won't give in to Musk's pressure, especially now that ChatGPT is extremely popular and the company is forming major partnerships, like its strong ties with Microsoft. Musk, on the other hand, emphasizes AI safety and the importance of open source development, while Altman focuses on advancing AI technology quickly, but with safety measures in place. This difference in vision highlights a bigger debate over how AI should be developed and controlled as open. AI moves into a new phase. At one point, OpenAI's non-profit board actually fired Sam Altman, saying they no longer believed he was following the organization's mission to benefit humanity. This decision created major turmoil, with many OpenAI employees threatening to quit in protest. Sam Altman was eventually reinstated, showing that he has strong support from OpenAI's staff, major investors, and the public. This whole situation revealed how OpenAI's structure is different from most companies. The nonprofit board has ultimate control, but most employees work for the for-profit side. What happens next is still uncertain. We're waiting to see whether OpenAI's board will seriously consider Elon Musk's $97.4 billion offer or simply ignore it. If other buyers step in, it could even turn into a bidding war, but that seems unlikely given OpenAI's high valuation. Meanwhile, Altman's sarcastic response, offering to buy Twitter for $9.74 billion, makes it clear that his feud with Musk isn't going to settle down anytime soon. The big question is whether this battle will actually impact OpenAI's work, or if it will just be background noise while developers keep improving ChatGPT and other AI tools. It'll be exciting to see how this unfolds. Will Musk succeed in pushing OpenAI back toward an open-source, non-profit model? Will Altman stay in control, secure the $40 billion SoftBank deal, and take OpenAI's valuation to $300 billion? And what about the massive $500 billion Stargate project that could change AI infrastructure in the US? There's a lot happening, but one thing is clear. We're at a major turning point in tech history. The outcome of this fight could reshape not only open AI, but the entire AI industry worldwide. What do you think will happen? Are you Team Musk, Team Altman, or just here for the drama? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on this wild AI showdown. See you in the next one.